Welcome to the channel map and of course Eagle Dynamics decided to throw us a bit of a curveball here. They have released a patch that includes the famous Mosquito Fighter Bomber. And this is something I've been really looking forward to in DCS, especially as the Mosquito is one of my favorite twin engine aircraft from the era. I think I only like the A-20 Havoc more. And of course we in Sweden used the Mosquito as well as the J-30, a night fighter. And painted in pretty much similar colors as well. We just slapped our nation insignia and used the NF version with its radar and all that. Uh, however, the version we get in DCS is a more of a ground attack version, of course. But I would suspect it's still highly capable in air-to-air -air combat. Now, this is just going to be a short familiarization flight. The only things I've done is to check so that all the settings and the controls are the way they should be. And if you are new to the Mosquito, I would really say just check your controls because they were messed up for me at the start. So we are slowly going to increase throttle here. My first experience with a twin engine World War II simulation, and I have no idea how this is going to be. I do feel that on takeoff she is a little bit more stable than her counterparts from uh, the fighter units, obviously. Can't forget the track IR and look around the cockpit. Feels like she wants up in the air. Of course, I don't have a, a full fuel load on board. And uh, whatever is used to get the gear up, I can't use for some strange reason. And I have to actually check where in the cockpit I might find that. So we might have to fly with uh, the gear down for a short while, uh, just until I've found where the hell you... Oh, I think that's a crew hatch, actually. I know the key combination, but I don't actually trust it. We are adjusting our engines. And making sure that we can Looks like we had a bit of an engine trouble there, but we should be good with this. idea on how to pull up the landing gear. Uh, I'm still looking a little bit in how to find the right button for all of that, but I basically also need to keep this but a little bit in a flying trim as well. It looks 
like we might actually have stuck our gear in the downward position, but so far we haven't actually crashed, so I'll take it. Compass is online. Whoops. She's a bit sensitive to maneuvers when it comes to, like, if you accidentally get her nose up, you really need to... Oh, wait, that that is totally unacceptable. We can't have the view buttons on that. And so, sorry, I just need to fix this. Uh, trim aileron left. Oh, that's the wrong one. Uh, trim alien left, right, elevator down, elevator up. There we go. Sorry about that. But a plane, a plane like this needs to be trimmed, otherwise she will be a handful to fly. So we are gonna see if we can trim her out a little bit more. Much better. Propeller RPM. Gun firing master switch. On. I'm just gonna check so my... Yeah, I could have figured. Uh, so fire cannon is not even on my HODAS. Uh, so, fire machine guns is obviously going to be on the same button there. So, we should have ample opportunity to test our weapons on the beach there. As a shooter, we are heading on to the beach for a gun. I don't know if what I've did is sufficient to test the guns. We haven't actually started the sight or anything, but I kind of hope it should be. Yeah, it's sufficient. It's sufficient for all weapons. Is it really a an experience to just unload four machine guns and four? Cannons. I mean, and the sound is just terrific here. Yeah. I still wish I could just, you know, have this uh, view perfect by actually pulling up my landing gear, but we are going to increase throttle a little bit. One thing I have noticed is that this aircraft is not an aircraft you will fly at full throttle. I mean, I barely have my throttle of more than maybe 50% or something like that. And it was even lower before I had to make that emergency pull up. And she, she responds pretty well, even with, you know... So we're gonna add a little bit of speed here. I, gotta, I wanna see what happens if we really you know, push her engines a little bit more. The sound of the guns is just absolutely amazing. I, I really like it. So yeah, you'll, you'll have to be very careful about the... Well, you have to be careful about where you're aiming your guns as well. But you have to be careful about the nose suddenly climbing on you. Because if it does, uh, the engines aren't really handling that too well. So... But for the rest of it, I mean, she's a really nice bird. I think she and me are gonna be much better friends than, say, me and literally any else of the World War II aircraft so far. So we have a little 
little bit of a harbour area right ahead of us. We'll fire up the cranes. So we're gonna try full throttle for a while, but we're not gonna try that too long. Because I guess if we go full throttle for too long, we are just going to overload the engines. And I don't want to do that. Just cut out the engines, more or less. Oh, we still have juice in the guns. That's nice. I do like an aircraft that has plenty of machine gun and cannon <laughs> ammunition. So we're taking her in now. A little bit more power here. This is gonna be a sloppy landing, but my landings usually are. In fact, one YouTube commenter at some point wanted to change my call sign from shooter to sloppy, but he was denied because he was not a squadron member. Oh shit, my squadron members are gonna watch this, aren't they? Oh, this is... this is not good. Not good. Well, we actually made it somewhat safe onto the ground, and... Uh, engines are... We're braking, 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 braking. So, we actually managed a full flight in the Mosquito. I mean, she's a really nice aircraft. She has her quirks, no doubt about it. She truly has quirks, and I love that. But in her base form, with like, as a gunship and about half fuel, uh, she is a very agile plane, and when it comes to, like, multiplayer, or even for that matter, single-player experiences, if you get jumped by a pilot that doesn't necessarily know what they're doing, you might actually be able to cause them some measure of grief in this. So, there's only one thing to do. Hot start. Full engine burn. Straight ahead. Apparently the takeoff conditions on 100% throttle is a little bit easier on the drift as well. That's actually a bit fascinating. So this has been my first flight of the Mosquito for DCS. And... If you don't mind, I'm off for my second one. Take care, have fun, and I hope you enjoyed.